Can you let your car sit for a full year without driving it? Does it harm your car? Let me put it this way. Cars are a bit like humans in that if you lay in bed for a year straight and don't move, you're going to have some serious health issues. Cars are not designed to sit idle. They're designed to move. If you leave your car parked for a full year without driving it, several issues are bound to arise. Your battery will most likely be the first casualty. It will lose its charge over time and without the occasional engine start to recharge it, you'll be greeted with silence when you finally decide to turn the key. The tires are another concern. They can develop flat spots when a car sits too long in one place, which can lead to a bumpy ride or even a blowout if you try to drive on them later. And let's not forget the fluids in your car. They don't exactly age like a fine wine. Over time, oil can settle, lubricants can separate, and gasoline can go stale, all leading to potential engine trouble and a sputtering start if you manage to get it going. Rust is another enemy that loves a stationary vehicle, especially if you're living in an area like Portland, Oregon, where the air is moist. Moisture can lead to corrosion, particularly if the car is kept outdoors. Then you've got seals and gaskets that can dry out, resulting in leaks and various other mechanical ailments when you introduce them back to the harsh reality of movement. And let's not even start on the critters that might decide your car is a perfect home, setting up shop in the exhaust or the air filter, or wherever else they can squeeze into. So, in short, letting a car sit for a year isn't a death sentence, but it's not recommended without some preparation. If you absolutely have to leave a car for an extended period, take preventive measures. Use a battery tender, inflate the tires to the correct pressure, and store it in a climate-controlled space, and maybe add some fuel stabilizer to the gas tank. Your car will thank you with a much easier wake-up call when you finally decide to bring it back to life.